Expo and Fairgrounds. It's good to be back. Tonight, this building plays host to a dozen or better exciting bouts of full contact mayhem. Yeah, Southern Oregon, we're proud to bring you the Night of Champions. That's weak sauce. Come on, make some noise! That's what I'm talking about. All right. We've got local favorites and fighters from around the region. We've got representatives from world famous Team Quest, Team Submit, New World Fighters, Team AMF, and Northwest Elite. Tonight, UCF brings the toughest, meanest, and most skilled fighters in the area right here for your entertainment. It's heart pounding, edge of your seat, no holds barred fighting action, and someone's getting knocked the hell out! Yeah! This is gonna be one night of badass fights. All right, at this point in time, I'd like to introduce our judges for this evening's fight. Alan, Alex Deschwinitz, Jonathan Murders, and Olaf. No last name. All right, our referee, Mr. Anthony Hamlet. And our ring girls, Kara, Carla, Jocelyn, and Elizabeth. Elizabeth. You'll be seeing more of them than of me, so for that, you can be eternally thankful. Those Helix guys have been drinking way too much. At this time, Ultimate Cage Fights would like me to review just a few of the cage rules, all right? Just so everyone's on the same page. There are no headbutts allowed, no eye gouging, no biting, no groin shots, no sticking any part of your anatomy in your opponent's anatomy, all right? Orifices are off limits, all right? We're ready to bring on the Night of Champions. Are you ready to see some fights? Jake, I believe that so far we've just had three three-minute rounds. Now we're going to be moving on here into uh, for a championship rounds. What kind of time? What kind of time are we looking at? Is the championships? Are they going to be three, three-minute, five rounds? The title fights will be three five or, or uh, five three-minute rounds. Yes, five, that three will be minutes. five three-minute rounds. UCF likes to do uh, three-minute rounds for the amateurs. Um, now, who do we have here? Sean Johnson. Sean Johnson. He fights over there with the Desert Dogs and Ben. JT Taylor, good coach. Good jiu-jitsu skills from these guys. Yeah, we've already seen Kenny Harris, one of the newest Desert Dogs, come out tonight and totally dominate his oh, fight. Wow, that man was exciting. That was very exciting. We've got Chase Maloney coming out here. I'm sure he's going to be a crowd favorite. Oh, yes, he is. Another one of the New World Fighters. Couple times state champion wrestler out of Crater High School. Yep. They put out a lot of good wrestlers out of there. Yeah, and what's he doing next year? Is he going to college? He better be. I think he was talking about going to a junior college for a year and then going back to the world famous Iowa and wrestling for the Hawkeyes. Good, good for him. This kid is intense. I've watched him fight a few times. He likes throwing people. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that many times. Look to see him try for the clinch and try to throw this guy on his head. Now, Chess Maloney's been training for about six months, I'd say. He's been working out with the New World Fighters. He's got Josh Haynes in his corner. And then across the ring, He's got, and then across the ring, he's of course got JT Taylor. JT Taylor and Sean Johnson. I, I know it's his new guy. He's not totally sure how it is, how he is, but he's, he's about to test him out. Out of Bend, Oregon, representing Desert Dogs Fighting, it's Sean Johnson! Hey, hands up at all times, all right? Keep them tight. 
And in the blue corner, from Medford, Oregon, representing New World Fighters, it's Chase Maloney! Alright, hands up tight, come on! This should be an exciting one here. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Look, look for this one to go on their feet. Oh, and he lifts him in a nice double wow, leg Wow, that was a nice takedown. He put him down hard right there. Here we go. He's, he's working to try to get his guard back. He's shrimping good. This guy's a desert dog here, so I'm sure he's Looks got like he's trying to lock that guillotine in. Down on the ground. Chase could be in trouble. But then again, you, ex you use up a lot of energy in that position. Oh, he's out of trouble. There, Chase got out. He's in uh, what Now, from here, he should guard. be looking to try to stack him up in the cage and launch some punches on him. There he goes. There you go. Relax. Do it. Do it. Do it. There you go. Now, is he going to try to mount him from here? Is he going to try to just work on that you side? Know, some guys go from the mount there. You know, a lot of guys like to stay in that side position. You can do some good damage there. Looks he's, like Chase oh, he's is got trapping that. his arm. He's a good submission. Wow. Guy could be in a lot of trouble here. Right there. He's got that arm trapped. He's got that arm trapped. You can really serve up some damage there. He's got side control still. Oh, he's executed. Those are good punches right there. Good hammer. Those are good punches. Sean Johnson, he's in a world of hurt with his arms tied That guy up. was taking some damage there. That's a tough kid on the bottom. Oh, oh. He's taking some. He's taking some good punches to the top of the head. Look to see some black and blue marks when they stand him up. Go, baby, go with that. Hamlet telling him he better work, or he's gonna stop it. warning him, yes. Yeah, so he's warning him. Oh, oh, oh! He's gonna. He's stopping. I knew he'd stop. Chase with a nice backflip. That's one tough kid right there. Yeah. I'm sure he'll have a good future in uh, cage fighting. Yeah. Chase really working the crowd there, jumping up on the cage. Oh, yeah. Let's get these gentlemen to center ring here. And put your hands together for our winner via referee stoppage. Chase! Chase, you got something here for you? Now, you're no stranger to this octagon in here. You've been here a few times and. Uh, you seem to be doing pretty damn good. You keep coming back, you keep tearing it up a little bit. What do you got to say? Uh, I like the trainer shots, Haynes. Jay Four is all them keeping me in shape, partners working out. I mean, it's fun to come out and keep some ass in my hometown. It uh, doesn't get much better. All right, congratulations. Any, any of your sponsors you want to thank? Don't really have any at the time, but if you're looking for a good fighter, I'm looking for some sponsors, so uh, anytime, call me up. All right, congratulations. You know, actually, that is a great reminder, folks. Both these events and the fighters only do this because they have sponsorship and support from the community and businesses locally. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor for UCF or any one of the fighters, please get in touch with them. Check out the website, check out the phone numbers, and make yourself available to this great sport called Ultimate Fighting. All right, nice job, Chase Maloney's. I'd have to give him that one again. Back, back to our next fight. Here I am. How's it going, everybody? Excellent. Where are you from? From Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, Washington, that's a sweet area. What is your fighting style? I'm a freestyle fighter, a little bit of everything. Okay, and what is your prediction for the fight tonight? Round two, TKO. 
Sweet. Well, good luck, Mitchell, and uh, can't wait to see you out there. Thanks a lot. Very aggressive. Uh, Troy really talked this guy up. Yeah, he, he stood behind him a lot, and Troy's words usually go. Very accomplished wrestler back in his time. He wrestled on the world team, from what I hear, for a while. Oh, really? I didn't know that. The ladder, Greco-Roman. I'll be damned. So it should be a good match. we got another exciting wrestler from uh, Southern Oregon. I'm out of Ashland, Oregon. All right, Ashland, what is your fighting style? Um, probably just wrestling. Wrestling? And uh, what is your prediction for this fight? Just go in there and give it hell. Try as hard as I can. Great. Good luck, man. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, what he I looks understand. good. Well trained. Yeah. Looks like he's got Carnerman. Is that is that Cody Ponder? I think that is Cody Ponder. There's a uh, he was a wrestler from Southern Oregon. He's fought a few times around here. Yeah. Mitchell Powers as well. It should be exciting. Both these guys look like they're uh, well trained, both in good shape. Both seem really calm in there. They, with their physique and their handling, it's like they've done this many times before. Oh, whoa. Whoa, he was trying to high kick, high kick and missed. There we go, he's trying to shrimp, trying to get back to guard. Uh-oh. Whoa, nice move right here. Good action there. Oh, he's got the guillotine locked in. Looks like he's got See if he works some knees. Oh! oh he's, he's back up. Matt Holt with that a straight a right. punch right there. Straight right, almost knocked him out. Leg kicks, he's checking them. Stay forward, stay forward. Trying to get him to drop his hands with those leg kicks, isn't he, Jake? Yeah, that's what it looks like. And he'll go high. You wait to see him go high. There he was, he missed. And the clinch right here. Look, look for Holt to throw him. Look for Holt to throw him. If he steps around and gets a corner, he's definitely gonna throw him. This, this is gonna get exciting. Could be both the oh, Greco wrestlers. Two Greco Roman nice wrestlers right into side control. There. Here we go. Holt working side control. Holt staying in side control there. Mitchell's right. holding on real tight though, making Looks it hard like he's for he's that forearm into his forehead right there. Working the hammer fist. Looks like Matt's trying to work for a knee mount right there. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, it looks like it. He's got it in there uh -oh. too. Uh-oh, Mitchell Powers could be in trouble. Setting him up. Oh, he missed with the big two. He was swinging for it all right there. Yeah, he was. He was trying to end it with one punch. Matt, he's doing a good job, though, about getting this guy back into his guard. Looks Very like. good job. Right back into his guard. And he's he got a guillotine choke on it. And it looks though. tight. It, it looks, looks real tight. tight. Oh, he got his head out. Mitchell did a nice job of getting out of that, though. All right, Jake, coming from a wrestling background, when you're on bottom, what, what are you trying to do here? I mean, you know, most wrestlers aren't comfortable being on their back, obviously. No, they're not. Usually you're going to look to see them either just tie them up and try to get the ref to stand them back up, or they'll uh, try to create a scramble so they can get back up to their feet. You know, it looks like we got Holt trying to strike from the bottom, though. Really Holt. looks like he's trying to earn his money. Holt did look like he was doing a little more uh, damage And here we go. Bottom. Anthony Hamlin standing him back up. And here we go. Look for those leg kicks. There we go. Those Trying to get him to drop his kicks. hands. 
And he did. Look for him to try to set that up again and go high. If we do see a, if we do see a kick knockout, that will be fantastic. Oh, end was, of the first round. Good, exciting round there for that fight. I would say so. Two wrestlers. We saw some throws. I'd have to give that round to Holt with that nice little punch drop. I would have to agree with that. He had good takedowns, good throws, especially that that two almost knocked him out. These UCF guys, they never hold back with the ring girls, that's for sure. They always have some good looking women doing Jake, that. Jake, you know what? I would have to say that the person that finds those ring girls, who, who would that be? Rumor around town is uh, Zine Patel. I, that's what I've heard. And you know he's, something, he does do a fantastic job. I heard he's quite the ladies' man. That's what I've heard once or twice. You know, on top of that, he's a hell of a DJ. And here we go, start around two. Looked him at Holt to continue those leg kicks, trying to get him to drop his hands. Oh, just trying to double him. He's going to put him down hard. Oh, nice really hard. Slam right there. Oh, he decides to put the legs in. Oh, I, I, think I really think Mitchell Powers is hurt. Bit. Mitchell Powers. I think that slam hurt him. A little bit of trouble. I think that, I think that slam really hurt Mitchell Powers. I think that slam did. Really yeah, that, that double, that was a vicious double. Wow, that kid's tough right there. Wow, Mitchell Powers is, he, he's a tough guy, but Matt Holt's a female. Matt Holt, whoa. Matt Holt is something else. Did you see that double? That was a good shot right I'll there. I'll tell you, Lifted we need to get to a replay because I would love to see that again. A double leg takedown right on top of his head. You don't see too many fights ending from a takedown. I think he was pretty <laughs> much done after that. I think he pretty much was ready to tap too. You gotta give it up for Mitchell Powers though. He's a tough fellow. That was a good fight, good first round. He looked good. fighting and ground techniques. Those are the kind of fights we like to see. Yeah, those are awesome, huh? <laughs> Congratulations now. You've been in this ring how many times? Uh, that's my second time. And both times? Win. You gonna do that again next time? I don't know. Hopefully. Anybody you want to thank for being here tonight? Yeah, uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, uh, Monarch Whiskey and Trojan Condoms. Thank you very much. That, that's your lifestyle, not your sponsors, man. I'd like to thank uh, everybody at uh, NWF for helping me train. All my friends, Temple, Massey, Rich, Leslie, everybody, Simmons. Thanks a lot, guys. Big round of applause, Matt Holt! All right. Next up, next up, wait till we see this fight. From what I've heard, this next fight is going to be one that, that could probably also be a main event on any other card anywhere else. This could else. be a good fight. This is Chris Silva. He's a real interesting character. Aaron Stark, I heard he's a real phenom coming up in the Team Quest, trained by Randy Couture, Matt Linlin, and of course the world famous Robert Follis, one of the best coaches out there. Yeah, you gotta, you got to recognize that. I mean, anybody that anybody in this fighting game knows who Robert Follis is in Team Quest. I mean, that's, that's guaranteed. Quite the group of guys coming out with him here. Ian Loveland, oh, Ryan yeah, Schultz, look at this. one of the best guys in the world right now at 155. Yeah. Loveland's a top 45 pounder coming up. Mike, the other coach, these guys are real studs training up there at Team Quest. You gotta be kidding me. If I'm walking in there and fight this guy and I see those guys backing him up, I'd probably just pack my stuff and go home. That would have to be pretty intimidating standing on the other side. I, I have ring, to but. agree with that one. I, I wouldn't be too much into that. Chris Silva, though, he's real seasoned. He's fought some really tough guys. Justin Haas a couple times. Dennis Holman's fought in the oh, UFC. Oh, that's right. He did fight Dennis Chris Silva, he's no slouch. He, uh, he's really used to getting out there and fighting some tough guys. Yeah, this will be good. You know, he hasn't fought in over, what, two years? 
I think it's been two years. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think he had a knee injury or something, but he's been coming back good. I know he's been lifting a lot. He's Look, looking pretty good. Yeah. It looks like he put on some muscle and uh, should be an interesting fight. And here's Chris Silva. Look at that pink hair. Chris Silva always got something great going with his hair. I remember one time he had a smiley face on the top of his head. Have a nice day. I think he did have the Walmart smile. Yeah, that was quite interesting. Here we go. He's got Josh Haynes in his corner again. Look at Aaron Stark. He looks pretty damn calm. But though, you know, Chris Silva has had a lot of fights. He should never be underestimated. Never. Oh! Big wow, high that was a good high Another kick. one! Oh! Wow. That Stark, I don't if, think that even phased him, though. This guy is on. I think he decided to take that to the ground. No messing around with that. There you go, Chris. Stay smart. I would have went to the same position. I myself. think I'd have to agree. I would have shot. Aaron Stark working the body. Chris Silva with open guard. Got under hooks. Look to see him advancing for some submissions. Oh. Aaron Stark's putting him in the cage. He's trying to work place off to be him. when you get pinned in the fence like that. Yeah, it's not a good place to be. He's these, trying to turn right now. These Team Quest guys, that are really good at the ground and pound. Let's there we go. Chris is turning. He's doing good. Aaron Stark. Looks like he's got side control. Little half there guard there. Some good solid there punches go. coming down, though. Looks like he's got a half Nelson on him. He's going to try to pin him. That's a three near fall. Come on, Chris. Short punches, bud. Short punches, Chris. There you go. Come on. There we go. Looks like he's still trying to work the knees to the body. Yeah, both guys really jockeying for position here. Chris is wanting to get him back in his guard, and Stark's wanting to try to get mount or uh, you know side control where he can do some real damage. You know, it really seems to me, Jake, like this crowd's starting to get better educated as far as what's going on. Yeah, people are really starting to learn the game here. Yeah, I mean, I I can remember about a year back, you know, I'd go to the ground, people didn't understand it wasn't a boxing match, you know, and it's not a wrestling match. It's MMA, mixed martial arts. You know, you travel to Japan, you travel to different places, and people really understand the game and I, I think the United States is really coming up fast as far as understanding Yeah, they're it. coming up. The ultimate fighter of the reality show. Really yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's great popularity. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the flexibility on Chris Silva though. I can't believe that. Interesting character. Oh, got him with a head and arm. Head and arm chap out. That was got a really a tight arm. choke right there, I bet. Aaron Stark got him with a head and arm. Chris Silva looking very disappointed right now. Chris Silva, he's a tough fighter, though. He'll be back. He is. I know he wanted that win. I don't believe Aaron Stark got even punched on that on that altercation, did he? He took that one kick to the head and decided <laughs> to get it to the ground. It was a wise fast. decision, I think. I don't think yeah. he wanted any part of Chris Silva on his feet.
All right, turn it on. We got something for you. Aaron, first round again, man. No, I, I mean, I enjoy doing this, but I mean, I need to make it a little bit longer, so I don't know. Well, you have to slack off or something, I guess. I, I can do that. I can handle that. Trust me. All right, who made it possible for you to be here tonight? Um, well, my parents, obviously. Uh, but they were drunk. They don't remember. No, actually, they do. They told me about it. It's a little disturbing. But um, anyway, I also my wife, my brother, my mom, my sister, you know, all the family. The guys at Team Quest have been great. I mean, outstanding training. Robert Bolas, Mike Dolce, Jesus, too many. I know I'm forgetting people, but they're always great. Can't say enough about it. Thanks much, and thanks for a great show. Congratulations.